Mayor Holston. Councillor Borkham. Here. Councillor Whitney. Here. Councillor Barenboim. Here. Councillor Hadley. Here. Councillor Hollett. Here. Um, additions, corrections, or adjustments to the agenda. Don Hadley has handed me his uh, request to read aloud for him. Add to the agenda a request for attorney statements to be unredacted beginning with January 1st, 2018, and ending with December 31st, 2018. That is Don Hadley's request. Is there a second? A second. Can we add that to the agenda as 5.2? Sure. Okay. And on to business under 5.1, appointing Chief Kevin Martin as Administrator Pro Tem for the period of January 31st to February 12th. And Mr. Hadley also has a motion. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Do we need a vote on the request for reaction? Does a councillor have to vote for that to add it to the well, agenda? Well, someone motioned it, someone yeah. seconded it. Yeah. Okay. Um, call for the vote. Councillor Hadley? Aye. Councillor Hollett? Aye. Councillor Fulcom? Aye. Councillor Whitney? Aye. Councillor Barenboim? Aye. Um, back to 5.1, um, Councillor Hadley has a motion that I will read for him. <clears throat> I move to appoint Rick Zilstra as City of Oak Ridge Administrator Pro Tem for a period of January 31 to February 11 in the absence of Mr. Messina. Do I have a second for his motion? Second. Call for the Abstain? Yep. Okay. Call for the vote. Who seconded? Paul. Councilor Borkham. Councilor Barenboim? Aye. Councilor Hollett? Aye. Councilor Borkham? Aye. Councilor Hadley? Aye. Motion passes. On to 5.2. I didn't have any council discussion right. on that. Did anybody want to abstain? So, well, I don't believe that many of you have any discussion. I just want to know why the change. We have. I, I thought if we abstain from a vote, we should abstain from discussion. We won't have any. Point of order, she has a conflict. She can't even talk about it. I, I'm, not, I'm not talking about who was appointed. I'm talking about why we changed. We had uh, folks in here asking to appoint Kevin Martin, and why that's changed. Well, you might ask the city administrator something that came to our attention. <clears throat> it's pretty important. Uh, it probably should be talked in the executive session. So. Regarding Kevin Martin? Absolutely. I have oh. no preference either way. If we're making decisions in that capacity, and it's being made as a group, then why is not all of that information shared with all the council? Because that is a part of what needs to happen. Um, it appears that there is a question about that would, could end up being a personnel issue and a personnel investigation, and beyond that, I can't say anything. How did this come about? <clears throat> because it's your emotions. Well, if you really want to know, we all we can't discuss all this. And if it would be done in executive session, if you'd like an executive session, we can discuss this. You know, this is a year you're asking for this has already been voted in the past. I don't know why Rick can't fall in this place for the same period of time. I'm who decided? Just, who just decided? Just, who decided for Chief Martin? I'm confused. I would assume it would be the administrator that chose him. 
Um, so I'm confused as to why there was a change like this and why not everybody was given the same information was able to make that decision. I abstained, but there was no discussion on the issue. I abstained because of, of a conflict of interest, not because I disagree with Kevin Martin. And I don't have the same information that you guys have. And I, I don't have any information. I met with him senior earlier today, and he just mentioned the counselor came in and spoke to him about Chief Martin. He, didn't, he told me exactly what he just said about him. I said that I have no preference either Chief Martin or Rick. I have respect for them both, so I have no problem with whichever one. And as a police chief, maybe you should do as police work. Maybe we should have Rick, which is always in the office, and it's good that we all know him, but we can go forward with whatever. Well, firstly, yeah. I, I, I personally would trust the person that is the city administrator in charge of making those decisions. It wasn't best for the city to make that decision. That's my personal opinion. But I think what we were, we were elected for what? You know what we were elected for, and so do I. But I, my people. question was, why the change, and why wasn't I not given that same information that you guys clearly have made the decision it's on? basic stuff to the minister. Everybody else. Because this, this came to council, so. Mm -hmm. I wasn't given any information on him. Yeah. I went to him. Well. No. So who has the information? So the administrator has to do a little something and it's up So who has the information? Your insurance Who brought the information to the your insurance company? Your insurance company. Is that what you're looking yes, for? Yes, the same thing. Okay. I thought we've already discussed this and decided to move on and move forward. <laughs> Why do we want to go back? Do you, do you know what any of that billing was about? I, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking that's why. I thought we discussed this and decided to move forward. And that's why. And I looked at the billing just as well as you guys. Right, and it was redacted. Part of it, yeah. Okay. Which is common. How it's many redacted? How many? Huh? Oh, this and, and I can tell you, I'm not a professional. I'm not the professional that's going to know what should have been billed and not billed. And I'm not going to assume I'm a no. professional to make that decision. I'm not worried about what is billed. So as the body of the council, we have the right to have the unredacted. No, I, I hear you. I just thought we were moving forward. I didn't yeah, realize we were going back again. Yeah, we actually agreed that we would move forward, and uh, we talked about having our new attorney look into this. Do you remember all the minutes? I remember all of this. Okay, look at the videos. Thank you. Is there any more discussion? Stan? Thanks, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I will make a motion that we get the, the, redact the, the unredacted paperwork from the statements from the attorney from January 1st, 2018, ending December 31st, 2018. I'll second this motion. So council discussion? What is the intent of looking at that again? To see where the billing went. You have $31,000. Yes. I guess so. You don't care where the thirty-one thousand. That's not what I said. I said that's why. The intent. That's what why. is the intent? That's why. Is the no? That's not answering your question. What is your intent? To see exactly how the money was spent, where it was spent, and who spent what. And I also, in later time, we're going to get in the next meeting. I'm going to ask for more stuff. But right now, this is what I would like. 
If you don't want to do it, it's up to you. I just don't. I, I, I thought that people elected us and then we can move forward. And we're just continually going <coughs> and looking at past stuff. I think people elected us to do what's right. And sometimes that, that, means that too. Past. And I, that's, I don't agree, disagree with that. But, <coughs> you know, we've looked at these, we've discussed these. And I feel like we're going to get caught in the weeds and not move forward if we keep going back. I mean, I looked at those bills too. And I understand what was in them. I know there were a couple that yeah, maybe I want a little more information, but not enough to, I believe, warrant what they're asking for. That's your decision as a individual, as a counselor. Yes, it is. Any other questions? I'd just like to copy of that. Because, I don't know, it's just to me, it's. Even like that one attorney when they were it, it, nothing should have been redacted to a city council. Oh, and to me, and to me, it's so, it seems like something's being hit. This so when you're asking for unredacted, are you asking for everything unredacted? Because there are some things that have to be redacted. Tell me what's got to be redacted in any of that documents that can't go to that can't go to that can't go to executive session. Confidential information regarding staff. I don't know if that can go to executive session. I think we would need further clarification on that. Yes. But there are some I honestly don't know. You would have to check with the attorney. <clears throat> See, I, I, I talked to legal organization yesterday, just for example, three times. You know, I'm, I'm, I understand where we all want to go, want to go forward. But until certain things are done, you have to go through the attorney for the information. I understand very much. I understand well. I, I hear what you're saying. So that's, that's, that's why this needs to be done. It's the same thing. What? I'm on split off of 47587 Teller Road, and I wasn't able to go to the last meeting, but I watched it. And we, the citizens, are paying these bills. It's not the council or the city administrator. It's the people of Oak Ridge, the citizens of Oak Ridge. And yes, I think it's important that the council have that information because we're paying for a dead horse. What's it paid for? So that means they can redact anything they want out there and the council doesn't get to look at it and choose for the best of us citizens out here? That's not right. <laughs> it, it should be, uh, you guys should be open to all that information. And like Mr. Hadley said, if you have to go into executive session where you guys know where it is, where the whole council knows what it is. And then, because we've empowered you to work for the citizens of Oak Ridge, and to do your best, you have to have all the information to do this. And I don't feel that all the information is on the table to go forward with anything, because there was a lot of things that's happened in the past that need to be corrected and maybe this will help correct it and to move forward in the future. Thank you. Lauren. Uh, Lord Moe, 43 and I first meet. <coughs> Mr. Hadley indicated well, we want to find this out, so that'll help us lead to this point so we know what to do. What is his final desire of information he will collect, supposedly, with his ability to understand, leading to where will this information go and when will it end? Is it going to be revenge and vengeance? What will it be? An answer of where is it leading? When will it end? Skip Baker for a some six seven my farm. Uh, can I have an answer to the question? I asked him a question. I can answer your question. Uh, I asked him. 
They don't have to answer. Really? Then he's hiding something. <laughs> hiding an agenda, and that's too bad for him. Hiding in the long run. The uh, city is in the process of hiring attorneys. The yeah. attorney that we've had in the past is also applying to be rehired as attorneys. It is appropriate to look at the work they've done unredacted so we can make a proper decision about what attorneys we want to hire. Right. So that's that simple. Okay. Last, right. last, last question. Stephen Hall, 7642 Cedar Street. Uh, the city, our city, last city administrator left in some, you know, with some um, problems, some existing DOJ investigation. I think that's important for us to look at the lawyers, um, an unredacted version of the lawyer's billing statement to make sure that, that, that there's no connection to that because there's because being an ethics complaint. And part of that ethics complaint is the fact that he did use the lawyer for his own personal usage. So, so, uh, okay, so I just have to tell you, <clears throat> what concerns me about this of going back is, so now we're gonna pay an attorney to look and see if what unredacted information we can get. We're gonna pay for that. Then we're gonna look and if we see issues, we're going to ask possibly a new attorney or somebody to look at it and then go back to our old attorneys and ask them maybe to reimburse us some money. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, then we go to mediation. Who pays for that? We do. Oh. Who pays for the new attorneys to view all of this? We do. And is it really going to be cost effective to keep going backwards and going over and over stuff. There is, there are, you know, there are attorney costs to operate in the city. What attorney costs is it to, to get to be pay if the paperwork unredacted? Nothing, it's here. It was redacted where it wasn't that redacted from your attorney. It was okay. redacted from our city staff. I'm just concerned about going okay. backwards. Well, I understand very much, but you want to know the answer. There, There's the answer. If the answer is done, if I was the one doing the redaction, <clears throat> I could understand it. Maybe I do have stuff that's on there. I don't know what's on there, but I'd like to see it unredacted. And as a counselor, we are the body that should be able to look at documents, just like the attorney said. You heard her, the individual say what she said. There, there should be no redaction. Anything were to be redacted, we would do it from the attorney would do it. So, and, not and I staff. did hear what the attorney said in our presentation, but I think it's important to remember those attorneys that were presenting to us. They were presenting in a general format. They weren't presenting to specifics that we've given them asking for information on. Um, so I have asked the legal board of the city three times, and they say that's the fine. same thing. You need to go to the attorney. Councillor Corkum? Aye. Councillor Hollett? Aye. Councillor Hadley? Aye. Councillor Whitney? Yay. Anything else? Can we adjourn? Pass? Motion passed. Adjourn the meeting.